The inn is this way. fight so well when all you do is drink. It's harder to drink your water down swill and face those ghosts. Is everything in this damn forest missing the good parts? Hold on. That one's got all her parts, and none of them are hanging out. About time I had a challenge. Wait, no! That's not a... Damn him. <laughs> <laughs> You're no ghost. Hell, you're barely human. No one has ever withstood the axes of the Black Whirlwind before. If you're done talking, I have a gigantic oaf to kill. Where? Oh, you mean me? That's water under the bridge through the lake and out to the ocean. Anyway, I'm guessing you must be here on Lord Yun's business. Can't imagine why anyone would come here otherwise. You'll want to talk to Spirit Catch's Leaf. He's Lord Yun's man. I'm just the hired mercenary. I am so very sorry. You must accept my apologies. He is uncontrollable sometimes. Keep your apologies. That was amazing. Spear Catches Leaf is no warrior. He doesn't understand the thrill of victory. You've just had the unexpected honor of defeating the Black Whirlwind, the self-styled deadliest mercenary in the Jade Empire. Tales say this man once stormed an entire fortress alone, naked, and screaming his defiance into the night. <laughs> ha! Scared the tar out of those border guards. But they botched the story. I was naked screaming, and I was dead drunk. Ha! Deadliest. Could have fooled me. We didn't exactly fight to the death, did we? Besides, I'm not nearly drunk enough to be at the top of my game. There's nothing to drink in this blasted forest. Which part of your naked, drunken, screaming attack works best? Wouldn't you like to know, Missy? Let's just say it's the only part that matters. <laughs> Are there any other stories that I should know about you? There's dozens of them. But if you didn't recognize me right away, you must not have heard them. 
Now really isn't the time to share them. I need about five bowls of wine and a soft patch of ground to even get started. Forget about the attack. If you're who I've come to see, let's get on with it. Yes, I'm Spear Catches Leaf, Lord Yun's lead hunter. I learned a ritual from Lord Yun's father, and I had hoped to use it to ask the aid of the Forest Shadow. I've set the fires and the furnaces are ready, but one of the key crystals is missing. Without it, we can't even see what these furnaces are supposed to do. I examined the area when I realized that the crystal was gone, and I stumbled across some strange tracks that lead in the direction of the inn. An animal, then? I don't know. They look like bare human feet, but the tracks were closely spaced and bore a strange gait, as if a child made them. A deformed child. Would a child be able to pry the crystal from the pedestal? I don't think so. You'd have to be quite strong to pull the crystal loose. It doesn't make any sense to me. But then, what in this place does? I met a man from the inn on my way up here. If there are still people there, then whoever took the crystal might be there as well. But just be careful. The man was attacked and killed by the forest shadow. You were there to witness it, and yet survived. This is very strange indeed. If we can reach her, we can find some answers, though we will have to be careful. I suppose I'll go to the inn. Make your way there. I will stay behind to tend the furnaces. If you need more information, supplies, or even training, you know where to find me. Uh-huh. Step safely. The ghosts grow more aggressive by the hour. There is something not right. We've been tight! Watched in awe as you dispatch those things. Not many of your kind can deal with ghosts as easily as you do. My kind? You mean to offend me, peasant? No, 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 heavens no. You're a warrior, are you not? Bound by honor and given strength by training. Is that not the noblest of classes? Ugh. You are of a kind, aren't you? Clearly deserving of respect and consideration. 
but I'd forgotten myself. Welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, Traveler. I am the Keeper, as they call me. Uh, tell me, did you happen to come across one of us on your way up here? We sent him not long ago to search for help. I did see someone. They died. It was the forest, Shadow. She's taken another from us. We hoped we had found a way to deal with the fox. But we were wrong. How did you plan to deal with her? Well, that is quite a thing to ask, isn't it? Quite a thing indeed. How are we to know we could trust you? We do not trust the hunter at the temple, for instance. That is why we will not give him what he seeks. Yes, we have the missing crystal from the temple. We have kept it here safe and away from the hunter. Why were you keeping this? Because we could not trust anyone else to have it. One of us here in the inn overheard the hunter and the big man, who are now at the Forest Shadows Temple. The hunter spoke of a ritual that would let him reach the Forest Shadow. But he's a fool. He thinks to find the fox and seek out her help. Her help. She will not help anyone, least of all us at the inn. To save the hunter from his own folly, we took the crystal before he could reach the temple. Well, that was stupid. Give it to me. Threats? You should be careful of who you threaten. Whatever the ritual does, if it reaches the forest shadow, then we must take the opportunity to destroy her once and for all. He would not have taken that chance. I must know that you will use it for the right reasons. You must kill the forest shadow. Do so, and I will give you a half year's worth of taxes in silver. Why don't I just kill you? You could, though you would not find the silver. I'm not fool enough to keep it out in the open when I run such a fine establishment. If you wish the crystal, you must agree to help us. You must kill the fox. The silver is merely an incentive. What comes next is obvious. You will aid us. You must. Don't worry. I'll do as you ask. Hmm. Very well. Consider it a deal between us. The crystal is yours. But remember our deal. You should go to the temple to the west. Find a way to reach the fox and destroy her however you can. Succeed, and the silver will be yours. Now go. When will more come? Uh, hello. Uh, welcome to the Pilgrim's Rest, where the patron is the most important part of our business. I am Ho, your humble cook. I'm also in charge of the few supplies the inn actually stocks, if you have need of them. Though I am weary and worked to the bone, I'm here to help you. What can I do for you today? I should let you go. If only it were that easy. To go, that is. I'm not here to make your life easy. That's more like it. Now you're more in line with the spirit around here. Take very good care. Greetings, my friend. Have you had any luck finding the crystal? Of course I did. You have it? Excellent. I should return and report this to Lord Young. He will want to hear this news. Tell me about the ritual before you go. The crystal fits into the central pedestal atop these steps, unlocking the lens arms in the lower furnaces so they can direct light to the remaining furnaces. The other furnaces have colored crystals in them, presumably to alter the light. 
Lord Yun's father called this the Ritual of Seasons. A forest, he said, cares about only two seasons. The cooler air of winter and the blistering heat of summer are the only things it notices. I've got this. All right. Summer and winter seem to be the key. Black Whirlwind will stay behind to offer whatever help he can. If anyone can control him, it's you. I'm sure I can find a use for him. Hey, I'm not some cheap bottle of wine to be passed around. Damn it, even wine shouldn't be passed, in my opinion. Lord Yun paid you very well to safeguard his men, and now you're being paid to safeguard his new agent. Surely you don't mean to go back on your word. My word isn't worth a damn thing. That said, I'm still reeling from actually losing to anyone short of an army. Stick with me. You'll see more than that. Let me level with you. I don't lose fights, and I damn well didn't expect to lose one in this forest. Then you come along and beat me handily. Are you sure coming with me won't get in the way of your interesting life? Nah. So long as I'm fighting and drinking, preferably at the same time, <laughs> I think I can let that part where you pay me slide. My only rules are, don't touch my axes, don't touch my wine, and don't get between me and my enemies. If you can live with that, we'll get along just fine. Well, you and me and little Miss Magenta here, maybe she can distract our foes, flush a little leg. Would you like to see the damage these legs can inflict firsthand? Mmm, feisty. I like that. Be safe. If the spirit's willing, I will reach Lord Yun's camp quickly. If you need more supplies or training, that is where I will be. Let's go find something and make it stay a lot worse. Go back and wait with the rest. Right. If I'm lucky, something will try to jump me on the way there. Though I bet you've ruined the fun by clearing a path for me already. Maybe I'll take the long way. how much trouble you've caused me? I'll be doing paperwork on that fight of yours well into next week. <sighs> For so long, it appeared you'd be one of the easy ones. Then that whole bandit attack happened, and I haven't rested since. Explain yourself. <sighs> you have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? I am Zin Booth. 
the magic abacus. I was assigned to record, tabulate, and itemize the destruction that you cause. No easy task, I might add, especially since you embarked on this wild quest to find your master. So don't. No one cares. Ha! Again, you show your ignorance. Do you have any idea of the chaos that would be unleashed if we suddenly stopped calculating? <laughs> it's ridiculous! Look at your associate, Black Whirlwind. What a nightmare. A whole department can't keep up with his antics. But imagine if they failed to record his various deeds. We would never be able to determine his eventual position on the Great Wheel. Y you can't just guess at it. You must have records, itemized records, in triplicate, signed by the Overseer of Carnal Destruction and Disorder herself. I don't have time for this, Zinbu. Time? What do you know of time? You just make the messes. I have to document them. Or I did, at least. Apparently, my inability to keep up with you has cost me. I'm being relegated to a much lower role in trade and commerce. My only consolation is that I will no longer have to track your exploits. I'll be lucky if I ever attain the rank I had before you came along, but I have a plan that just might get me there. And you're going to help me. Instead of trying to find you a buyer or supplier wherever you go, I'm going to provide that service directly. So what, do I sell you something? Actually, I need you to buy from me, and occasionally sell any items you no longer need. By getting rid of the other suppliers and buyers, I can save time and be more efficient. Perhaps then I can regain some of the honor I lost through this demotion. In any case, I'll be joining with you, in a sense, to offer you items for sale and to purchase anything extra you acquire. It's a fair deal, I believe. You gain the envious ability to buy and sell at your whim, and I, I can prove my worth in my new role. Perhaps I will even do well enough to get promoted. Whatever you say, can I go now? As you wish. I have much work to do myself. Simply call upon me as you would any of your followers, and I'll be there. In the meantime, I have much to do. I'm afraid my supplies are a little low at the moment, but fear not, I will acquire new items as quickly as I can. I should go and see what I can dig up for you. Don't worry, I'll be around. Just call on me if you need something. Good day. Leaping Tiger! The Kawa ear up of fear, oh, we are wa on Uka. Yes, yes, I will go. Oh, we are wa wakir for near Sisa Ukopi po Kusu Ukut. Wo of no Aklatinir, Sasi ear, Yawak of Rui.
You should ready yourself, mistress. I do not trust them. At least we're even. I tend not to trust people or spirits who ambush me. <sighs> Mind your tongue, human. Why you're Oh, your roof will need me almost on their beauty. A friend who leaks of those beasts at the inn? Hm. Do what you wish, mistress, but I will be watching you. Oh, yeah, we're here, and we're here. Now we're here, and we're here. Oh, can she hear me? I'm not going to see you. Oh, I'm not going to see you. Oh, I'm not going to see you. Explain why you attacked me. Well, no, we're here for you. So you're here for you. All right. Are you going to explain, or? Zausa, Sinoni, good no quayer, I won't know where. Where did this demon come from? Nikia, we're for you. We'll soon to know so you'll be so good. So why am I so important? No one tells me what to do. Zausa, Sinoni, good no quayer, I won't know where. Zausa, wow, here's the mini Rizuki, Niki, I'll be for you. Even here, so weak, the waters cannot bleed forever. Nothing is without end. Not even this world. Not when my power rests in the hands of mortals. I lack the strength to help you. You cannot avoid your fate. When someone steps beyond their station, others must fall to fill the gap. Who is it who has stepped beyond their station? Me? You are in your station. You are where you should be. He is counting on that. If you fail in your destiny, your true enemy falls with you. And if he falls, so do we all. You must win. But in doing so, you will lose. It is a painful circle that must be allowed to close. You do not truly have a choice until you confront what comes after. You will be free to act, but there is a cost. <laughs>